Okay, a couple other items you're going to need. Some butcher's twine or kitchen twine. And also a good sharp knife and a uh, sharpener. I want to make sure that knife is good and sharp. All right. There we go. Okay, for the smoked bacon we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding in a little 100% pure maple syrup and just a little bit of the uh, pure all-natural molasses. We're going to do that on the smoked bacon. We're going to be smoking outside in the smoker. Okay. Next, we're going to need four tablespoons of whole peppercorns. Okay, here we have a uh, pork belly. It's just under 10 pounds. So we're going to divide this into two and we're going to smoke one piece and the other one we're going to roll up and do a pancetta. Okay, this has already been cured. Um, we didn't put the flavorings or spices on it while it was curing simply because we were going to do two different types and I wanted to see what was the difference between doing them with the spices on or spices after the fact. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and divide the meat up. Then since it's still salted with the sugar and salt cure, we're going to go ahead and rinse all that salt off one at a time and work with one piece at a time. Keep the other one refrigerated till we need it. Here's the next one. Already cured. I'm going to go ahead and dry it off. And again, good quality paper towel so it doesn't stick that much. Skin's already been removed. We're going to add a little maple syrup. Mm -hmm. And just a tad of molasses. How much? This is pretty strong. Rub that in. I'm going to add cracked pepper. Depends on how much pepper you like. They say if you have a lot of pepper, you won't eat much. I enjoy it, and I don't want people eating too much, so I'm putting up what I like. This is my eye, baby. <laughs> okay. Pat that in. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Maple syrup. This is 100% pure maple syrup, not the pancake stuff. A little maple, a little bit of the molasses. Rub it in. You can also use honey. See the color we're getting already. Then we're going to smoke this on the smoker with 
some hickory and skeet for about two hours after it dries out in the smoker. We'll put it on smoke for about two, maybe three hours. We'll be checking it periodically. We're going to be using our controller to control the temperature. We don't have the stainless steel bacon hooks as of yet. We ordered them. I couldn't wait to get the video out, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop three holes here and string hang this onto our wooden dial that goes in our smoker. And I'll show you that next. Okay, starting the corner about an inch down, I'm going to poke a hole. We're going to run this through. One. We'll do three of them on here. Put the string over the spoon like that. That's how I'd usually do it. Like that. Push it right through. That's number two. Where's my third string? Tie these around the dial. There you have it, my version to go in the smoker. It'll be like that. I went ahead and set the uh, temperature control. It was 95 when I started. It's already up to 115. There's the controller we built. If you want to know how we did that, check out our other videos. Here's our homemade smoker. Eric and I put together. It's an old frost-free, heavy-duty commercial freezer. A little lock we added. We've taken all the dials out. There's our reader, and it's controlling our little hot plate at the bottom. Okay, Eric's going to go ahead and hold that. Here you go. Thank you. All right, let's get this out. There's our slab bacon. Go ahead and get something to catch that juices. We're going to put this one in here. And put a plate underneath it. Catch all that juice. Well, until then, just a second. Now. Grab a pan. Keep mm, look at all that juice. molasses and sugar. I'm going to go ahead and catch that inside of a cookie sheet. We're going to let that get dry to the touch. And uh, you'll get a chance to see what we're doing here. So we basically got a hot plate, a drip pan, and our slab of 
beef, uh, pork bacon, molasses and maple, black pepper. Okay. Okay, you want to open your vent in the top all the way up. You also want to open your vent on the side all the way up and allow this to uh, dry out a bit before we start smoking it. We've already measured out our smoke that we're going to be using. Already measured out some wood chips. We're going to go ahead and put those on soak. As you can see, the controller is doing its job. It's 110, uh, 111. And there's our old analog one we used to use. See, it's not even given a reading yet. This one's already showing you. Plus or minus, so it's on. And we'll wait for it to come back up to temperature and we'll show you. Okay. Uh, thermostat up to 135 degrees. We've been holding that. We're going to check to see if it's uh, dry to the touch. It's been over an hour. Okay, there it is there. It's pretty dry. I think we can start a little smoke on that. We'll go ahead and start some smoke. Okay, here we go with the pan we're going to use. You don't want the water. Shake out the wood we're going to use. I May mean, not use all this. Smoke for a couple hours we get the color that we want. Put that in there. Close our little top here. And just let the smoke come out of there like that. Alright. Okay. Go ahead and add in some of this down here. Close the dampers about a quarter. Lock it all up. Let that go. We should have smoke in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We have an internal temperature of about 130. It's actually a little warmer than I want it. There you have it. As you can see. It's a pretty piece of meat. We're all done. Take this in and let it rest. There we have it. Smoked bacon. Still on the dial. Smells wonderful. Okay, it's five minutes to 11 p.m. We're all done.